All over the borderlands, some property owners are feeling uneasy on their very own land. In tonight's special report, KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap shows us what's making them uncomfortable and the signs of a dangerous journey that are left behind. At times, too, it makes you hesitant about leaving and going somewhere because you don't know what's going to happen while you're gone. Now, this man owns property near here. As you can see behind me, that hill back there is the Mesa, and this is Artcraft Road. He tells me that immigrants have been crossing through his family's property for as long as he can remember. He tells me that recently the groups are getting larger. Take a look at these so-called carpet shoes. It doesn't leave as much of an imprint no. in the ground. He says they're the remnants of immigrants looking for a better life in the U.S. You can pretty much tell. You can see the their their footprint their there. footprint in it, and then the where it was contacting the ground. He says that by counting the number of these makeshift foam squares used to hide footprints in the sand, hiding tracks from the watchful eyes of Border Patrol agents. This was looked like a group of at least 18. 18. That's unnerving about it is the proximity to our residents. Um, I ranged it. It's from this location to my house is 150 yards. This longtime rancher acknowledges these immigrants are searching for a better life. He just wishes they would respect his property. It's unsettling to know that they're getting this close due to the fact that when my kids ride their horses, they ride out here. So it makes you leery about even letting your kids out to play, ride, do whatever on your own, on your own land in your own backyard. His family's 200 acres are around 10 miles east of the U.S.-Mexico border near Santa Teresa, New Mexico. The landowners tell me that immigrants hide behind that tree, then they crawl through this fence. As you can see, it's lowered and wait to be picked up. It's a problem that's been going on for years and, according to him, made worse by the lack of border fencing near his property. Probably the closest point to us out there what barrier there is is the remnants of bob wire fencing he thinks border enforcement focuses on the main ports of entry and doesn't do enough for the people living in the less secure border areas with all the debate over president trump's push for a border wall he has a simple message come out here and spend some time out here where it's really being impacted to show everyone the challenges of living on the border shelby cap ktsm 9 news now that rancher asked us not to reveal his identity to protect him and his family. Despite